Uh, what we have is a shakeup in the 737 leadership, the people who oversee the 737 programs. That includes the 737 MAX. Eric Lindblad, who has been in charge of the program roughly 12 months, he is retiring. And in a note from the head of Boeing Commercial Airplanes, he says that he is stepping down. Taking his place will be Mark Jenks. He is going to be in charge of the 737 program. He is a Boeing veteran. He will be in charge of that, as well as the company's new middle market plane that they are developing. And Mike Senate, who has uh, been in a little bit of the headlines when it comes to the 737 earlier uh, this year when they had the briefing on changes that were going to be made to the MAX, at least changes that were planned at that time. It was Mike Sinnott who gave that briefing and explained a lot of what was happening with the MAX. He is going to be moving into a role as well in terms of uh, product development uh, with the new middle market plane. But again, a shakeup when it comes to the 737 MAX. Guys, that plane has been grounded since the middle of March, and Boeing has said it's at least to the September time frame before they believe all of the fixes will be done, and then they can perhaps apply for recertification. Guys, back to you. Phil, forgive me if you said this uh, in the report. Do you know how old uh, Lynn Blatt he's is? He's been there 34 this, uh, years. Sort of... He's been there 34 so years. It, so he's a veteran. It, retirement, retirement is a fair way to frame this, or is this him being forced out to take responsibility? For, I, I haven't done enough reporting to, to tell you if he's being forced out. Um, uh, they are using the term retirement in the memo that comes from Kevin McAllister, who is in charge of Boeing commercial airplanes, um, and that he's been there 34 years. But look, the last he's been in charge of this program the last 12 months. How many have we been since March? I mean, half of that has been extremely trying, to say the least. Uh, and uh, Phil, just so he, Kevin McAllister, is above him uh, and then Ke up yeah. to, to the CEO. Is, is, yes. is this suggesting that it, it won't go any higher in terms of the people that have to take I get no indication that Kevin McAllister's job is in jeopardy right now, nor do I get any indication uh, that Dennis Muhlenberg's job as CEO of Boeing is in jeopardy right now. Uh, right now, what I'm hearing back from people within Boeing is that uh, it, there's not a widespread, hey, let's find somebody and take them out behind the woodshed. This is a case where they're trying to, as much as possible, correct what's wrong with the MAX, get it back in the air. That's the priority right now.